Today I have a good video for you guys. Um, I was scammed by a job. I did a scam job? No. I don't know how to phrase this. Like, I applied for a job and the job wasn't what I expected at all. And I think you could put that into the context of deliberacy. I think that the way that they advertised the job it was deliberately misleading and that's what I want to talk about in today's video. So to give some context, I finished my chemistry degree a month ago. An industry I've been looking at a lot is, is management and, and business. That's what I've been looking at, also finance. And I recently applied, probably about a week ago now, for a job uh, advertised as a trainee management position. This was something that I thought was really up my alley. Working at Amazon, I didn't just gain the money from it. Uh, it allowed me to understand that I don't want a physical labor job. You know, when you do crap jobs, it motivates you to, to look for higher up jobs. It actually gives you real tangible motivation. Um, and also for me personally, I saw the managers. I saw the people leading the, the teams. I saw the people managing the, the workforce. And for me, that was something that I, I looked at and I, I enjoyed. It's something that I took some inspiration for. And it really opened my eyes up to, to management. And that's one of the reasons why I pursued this job role. So I applied for, for this role, it was like trainee management. And it was for a sales and marketing company. And for me, the, the industry that the company was in didn't really bother me so much because ultimately it's a trainee course. They're expecting to take on people, I imagine, that have no experience in that industry, they're just graduates. And that's why I, I applied for the role. The application process was very fast. Um, I remember I got a, a video call interview with the head of the company. And I talked to him for about five minutes and it went pretty well. And then I had a proper interview for about 45 minutes with someone who was pretty new to his job. And this was the first red flag I noticed. I mean, the first red flag there was is I received an email from the head of the office. And the guy literally, his email had a warning on. It was like, we could not verify the domain name of this email address. Now, typically you get that when you have like a new company and it was a new company. This company I think was formed like three months ago back in May. And obviously that was a bit of a red flag, but for me, I didn't really care. You know, for me, you can join a startup company. It was advertised as a startup company. I felt like they were quite transparent. So I, you know, like colored out that red flag. I don't know if that's a good expression to make, but I didn't care about it. I dismissed it. When I did that interview, the person who interviewed me actually went through the same process as me four weeks ago. They were now managing recruitment, which I found really you know, interesting. Clearly promotional opportunity was something that this company was obsessed over and that's what they advertised in, in the job adverts. Um, and for me, that was something I liked the sounds of, but I was a little bit hesitant about. I was thinking to myself, I'm not too bothered about being promoted within a month. I'm not too bothered about that. I'm 20. Like, I want to train and be good at a craft. I want to gain experience in things such as management. I don't mind training to be a manager for a year. I don't mind that at all. I'm not bothered or obsessed with this idea of going through the ranks super quick. I don't think you can rush things like that. But this guy who interviewed me, he was very good at his job. He was very good at interviewing me, asked me the questions right, talked to me very well, treated me with respect, and it went pretty, pretty well. After that, I had to write a cover letter. He requested that I wrote a cover letter answering some questions about the company. And one of the questions was about performance pay. It talks about performance pay, which was a little bit confusing to me because I always thought that performance pay was in addition to a bonus salary. So you get paid maybe £20,000 a year, you get a commission, you get an extra bonus pay. That's how I thought performance pay worked. When I applied for the job, it said between £20,000 and £25,500 a year, which is a salary that you'd expect for a trainee. That is a trainee salary, practically. And I was fine with that wage. Like, I don't mind making twenty grand a year if it's going to mean something later down the line. I am going to be qualified in management. And when you look at the job role, a lot of it was orientated to do with management. That's why I did the flipping job application. So I completed my, my cover letter, answered all the questions in detail. And after I submitted it to the head of office, I got an email, or not an email, sorry, I got a call from the guy who interviewed me saying, well, we're dealing with a lot of candidates. Do you have anything else you want to add to the cover letter? 
And at that point, I thought, wow, this is really competitive. A lot of people are going for it. I think I talked about how, you know, I struggled with panic attacks. I was like, well, I struggled with panic attacks when I was young. I struggled to leave the house because they were that bad and I got through them. So it showed some determination. I just waffled out my ass practically. And then he said, well, that's great. Uh, well, you'll hear from the head of office about your job application later and we'll tell you whether or not you got it. So obviously I was really nervous. I was really nervous to see whether or not I got the job. And I did. I got the job and I felt really, really happy. That was one of the first times in a long time where I felt like I actually accomplished something. I think I scraped getting into the degree and I scraped my result at the end of the degree. So a lot of my life, I feel like I scraped through past things. And with this job, I felt like I didn't scrape through it. I felt like I deserved the job and I felt really, really happy about it. And I was really excited about it. As I mentioned before, I expected that it was a salary because it was 20,000 to 25 and a half grand a year. I thought that that meant, you know, that's your base salary. 20 grand is your base salary, but it can go up based on your performance. Okay, that's how I thought about it. And I remember in my cover letter, I talked about it in that context. And I never had anyone say to me, oh, by the way, that's not how the performance pay works. I'll talk to you about how the pay works. A few days later, I met up with the guy who interviewed me. He talked to me, we met up at Starbucks, and he was about three or four minutes late. Every single stage of this job application process and recruitment process, they were late by about five minutes which I felt was really unprofessional, but it was something that I didn't look too much into, so maybe it is something you should look into. But I met up with, with the guy who interviewed me, and I got on with him you know, really well. He seemed like a nice young lad. We then went to the office, and the office was, was a really nice environment. Everyone was young, everyone was passionate, everyone was very similar-minded to me. A lot of people had graduated, uh, they had university degrees, but they weren't obviously practicing in the field that they studied. So when I went to this office, uh, it was a, I don't know what they called it, but it's like an hour where everyone gets together and they have loud music on and everyone's talking to each other about how to market and how to sell. And I was being taught how to sell. Now I'm a very convincing person. I'm deceptive. <laughs> I'm manipulative. I'm great at selling. You know, I think selling is honestly one of my strengths. But here's the thing, I won't want to work in sales. Working in sales is very shit. And as I mentioned before, the job role was trainee manager. Trainee manager. That's managing people, doing the sales. It's not doing the sales. But as I want to make clear, I didn't mind doing the sales. I understand that if you're going to manage people doing sales, you've got to be good at sales yourself. You know, you can't teach what you don't know. So I understood that. So this guy who interviewed me kept talking to me about how to sell to people. And I can't explain to you enough how good the vibe was. Everyone in that room was switched on, good looking, good shape, young. You know, the guys were handsome, the women were hot. It was just a really nice vibe. Everyone had a really good vibe. And I got on with everyone and I loved that. I then realized that all these people were in a similar position to me. All of them were going for promotional opportunities. And I remember the, the guy, once I succeeded in the interview, he said, listen, we, we talked to over 100 people. So you're very lucky to get this position. We only recruit two people. I noticed uh, the only other person who got the job. And this girl seemed very reserved. She seemed very different to everyone else. And it really made me realize, did 100 people really apply? <laughs> like this girl, you had 100 applicants and this was the best you could do. She just didn't seem like a good applicant. Like she had green hair. <laughs> and she looked very, um, I don't know, she just didn't look confident at all. Um, she looked a bit nervous, like it wasn't for her. But yeah, we were in this room, everyone was talking to each other about sales and everything, and they had these roundups, they rounded everyone up together, and it was like a meeting, a group meeting for, for everyone, and everyone was getting the promotions, and everyone was really happy. I learned that every sale nets you about 35 quid which I thought was, was fine, but I didn't really care too much about it because I was thinking to myself, I'm literally a trainee manager. Like, I don't care about how much money I make per sale because I'm training to be a manager. I then went to the head of office and I talked to the guy who, who recruited me. He seemed like a really nice guy. They all seemed genuine. They all seemed like such decent people, but then you realize it's literally the sales and marketing industry. 
Like, that's their job. Their job is to be nice and come across as trustworthy. That's their job. Um, so yeah, I got on with this guy well and everything, but then he said to me, you're essentially self-employed. Working for this company, you're effectively self-employed. What? I'm trying to be a training manager for a company that I'm self-employed working for. What, so who am I managing, myself? Like, how does that work? He then talked about how pay was purely commission-based, so you get paid per sale. And when I looked at it like that, I thought to myself, what the hell, what are you talking about? So I'm here thinking that I'm gonna be a trainee manager. And let me make it clear, being a trainee manager normally involves working with someone who is a manager and you're just shadowing them. You're doing what they're doing, you're copying what they're doing, you're helping them out with what they're doing and you're learning how to operate like they do. That's what being a trainee manager is about and it's something that you typically do for a year or so. You know, it's not something that you do for four weeks and then get promoted. The guy who, who talked to me was saying to me, you know, listen, you can easily make 400, 500 pound a week, easily, if you're good at sales and we'll make you good at sales. And I was thinking to myself like, yeah, that sounds great, but I don't want to do well in sales. Like I don't care about sales. I don't care about marketing. I applied for this job for management. Okay, I don't mind learning how to do sales 100%, but the fact that I'm essentially self-employed, it doesn't make sense to how I can be promoted to be a manager if I'm self-employed. It just doesn't make any sense. And then it hit me, literally, you get commissions per sale, right? They promote you, you just get a bigger share of your commission. That's literally it. And they, don't, they don't pay you more, you just get paid more per sale as you get promoted upwards. But at the end of the day, they're still not paying you because they're still getting a commission of each sale. And then it hit me as well. Like, if every sale is you know 35 pound, how much are we trying to sell to people? Like, the things that we're selling, like, they must be worth a lot. And one of the campaigns that they had was about homelessness. And it hit me what the job was. You're literally approaching people who most of the time are, are quite old, people are quite vulnerable. And you're trying to sign them up for a direct debit to support the homeless people. And I've had experiences with these salespeople. They come up to you and they're pushy and they're obnoxious and they try to get on with you and they try to get you to invest in a direct debit. And like, I respect the hustle 100%, but that's not what I applied to do. I applied to be a trainee manager, not to hassle people for money. If I'm gonna do sales, I'll just work for myself. Why would I work for an agency, which is effectively what this company was and is, it's just an agency. It just frustrated me so much because the application process, it was so vigorous and I was so happy about getting the job because a trainee manager, that's, that's just such a good job. That's something that I really wanted, but it's just sales. It's just, it's just goddamn sales and it hit me. Like if everyone's that way, not only do I have to work so hard to be promoted over them, like also there's lots of other people who will not be promoted and they'll just be salespeople. And if a lot of them are good anyway, like imagine how good I have to be to be promoted. The guy who managed me literally said to me, like, oh, I work six days a week, I work Saturdays. These guys working from, what, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., they were the hours, so 10 hours a day, working six days a week, 60 hours a week, and he's making 600 pound a week, and he's been promoted. Like, that doesn't seem like a good salary. I was so excited. I was so excited to, to finish working at Amazon. As much as I you know, enjoyed working at Amazon for the pay I got, I did enjoy it in, in the micro scale of it. I was worried that I was gonna be stuck there for a long time. And seeing a new job opportunity, being a trainee manager, it was something I was so excited about. But then it was just a scam. I was completely scammed. Ultimately, what? I'm a sales rep who has the opportunity to be, to be promoted, like fantastic. But then it's just a scam because any job you have the opportunity to be promoted. It's not a trainee scheme or anything. So I just felt really deceived by that. I got a free coffee out of it because when I met the guy at Starbucks, he bought me a, a cafe latte, which was really nice. Literally the day after I gave up on the role, they had the job advert back up. Like literally, what, they had so many people applying, they couldn't have just recontacted them and said, listen, we had someone drop out, come in. No, they had to reopen the application process totally. It's just pathetic how companies can lie about these things. 
And I really want to make this point clear. Listen from my experience. If you're applying for a job, look at the company, search up the company, and if it is at all sketchy, just don't bother with it. Honestly, don't bother with it because the opportunity cost, it isn't even opportunity cost, it's the delusion cost. I was so happy and excited and then I was let down and it really made me feel like shit. I imagine a lot of people who were working there were in the same shoes as me, excited as hell to, to be a trainee manager but then just working as a sales rep. It's also important not to sign documents. You know, if you're not totally sold on a job, don't feel ashamed to just say, listen, I, I don't believe that it's what it was advertised as. And they were very quick to put it on me. They were very quick to be defensive. The guy who interviewed me was saying, oh, it was obvious that it was performance-based pay. We never talked about a salary. And I was literally thinking to myself, what do you mean we never talked about a salary? The reason why we never talked about a salary is because it was on the goddamn job advert. 20 to 25,000 pounds a year. Like that was the advertised pay. When you advertise a range within 5,000, that indicates that you have a bone salary and then you have a bonus and that's the five grand range. You know, you're selling that job as that range, okay? You're not selling the job as up to 100,000 pound a year, up to 50,000 pound a year. You're advertising the minimum as 20,000 pounds a year. And when you put it under the context of trainee manager, how are you meant to know that you get paid per sale? It doesn't even make sense to be paid per sale if you're training to be a manager. Why would you be the one doing the sales, caring so much about the amount of sales you do if you're training to be a manager? Like the manager is the one you know, who should be helping people sell underneath them. Thank you guys for watching this video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Hello everybody, Cameron from the future here. Um, I actually found this video on YouTube and it perfectly explains the situation I went through, like literally word for word. I can't believe how universal this scam actually is. And actually looking back on it, I'm really glad that I um, I got myself out of that situation. And in retrospect, I feel so sorry for that girl that I mentioned earlier, who it was their first day as well. But I recommend please watch this video that these guys made. It is such a good video. I mean, I say these guys, I think it was made by a company, but it is such a good video. So please watch that video to truly understand like what I went through and hopefully it'll prevent you from going through a similar situation to me and it'll avoid the, the disappointment that I felt.